Hi, MJ here, and welcome to our next installment of Moto USA TV. When you race in the off-road insanity that is Enduro Cross, it helps have an edge getting over tough obstacles. Competitor Jeff Aaron uses the Cristini all-wheel drive system, which turns the rear and front wheel of his KTM 300 XC race bike. It features an engage and disengage lever that swaps from traditional rear wheel to all-wheel drive mode. The Cristini system is both unique and effective. Learn more in our review, available online now. Motorcycle USA Executive Editor Steve Atlas and our protest writer Chris C. finally got a chance to throw a leg over the all-new 2010 Suzuki RMZ250 this past week at Pyro Motocross Park in Southern California. While it unfortunately didn't make it in time for our recent 250F shootout, we figured it was better late than never. So was it worth the wait? Let's check it out. What's up guys? Steve Atlas here from Moto USA and we are super stoked to be riding Suzuki's all-new RMZ250. It's their first fuel-injected 250cc motocrosser, and we're going to take it for a ride. So come on, let's check it out. Totally changed from the ground up, say hello to Suzuki's 2010 RMZ250. Stacked to the gills with updates and new goodies, the most notable of which is the addition of fuel injection. Fed from a 10-hole injector via 44mm key and throttle body, the Suzuki RMZ250 joins Honda as the only other 250F to receive FI so far. We came away extremely impressed with the new Suzuki. There's no question this all-new Suzuki is one of the best 250Fs currently made, making it really a shame that we couldn't get one in time for our earlier shootout. Wahid is at it again. This time, our road test editor was busy traipsing about Tuscany aboard Ducati's working class 848 Superbike. Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam, Moto USA. We're here in Bologna, Italy at uh, Ducati's factory where all the cool stuff's made. Last time he was in Italy, our Renaissance man needed a reminder from the authorities that motorcycles ride on two wheels, not one. trouble this time under the Tuscan sky? Find out in his travel story online now. Looking ahead, Moto USA has a pair of motorcycle reviews to pique your interest. Off-road editor J.C. Hildebrand is currently in Italy testing the Husqvarna TE and SM630. Riding a big board dual sport and supermoto in Italy? We'll make sure J.C. gets to work after playtime is over. J.C. Hildebrand, we're out here in Varese, Italy, and we're at the brand new Husqvarna factory headquarters. What we're doing now is headed inside get a look at what's new with Husqvarna and from there we'll go ride some Husky 630 machines, the SM and TE bikes. Let's check it out. We also have editors Adam Wahid and Bart Madsen testing Honda's all new VFR 1200F in an unorthodox comparison. Hey guys, Bart Madsen here at Motorcycle USA and uh, springtime up, up there in Oregon, it's a little rainy and cold, so I thought we'd come down and uh, get out in the sunshine. So, rounded up some bikes in Southern California, and we rode out to Arizona for uh, spring training, the Cactus League, and we're just riding around outside of Phoenix and Tucson. While most racing series are taking the upcoming weekend off for Easter, last week was busy with the action in Supercross, World Superbike, and the AMA Pro Road Racing Series. In Supercross, Ryan Villapoto overcame a nasty foot injury from a practice session crash to win the 450 main event. However, the Kawasaki rider only closed the points gap on Ryan Denji by 3 points to 21, with the Suzuki rider placing second. Honda's Trey Kennard completed the Premier Class podium. In Supercross lights, Christoph Purcell beat East Coast Championship rival Austin Stroop, maintaining an eight-point lead with just two races remaining. The Supercross season now enjoys its lone rest week before heading to Houston, where Chad Reed is expected to return from injury. 
Round two of the World Superbike Championship saw Max Biaggi sweep both races aboard his Aprilia at the Portimao circuit in Portugal. Suzuki standout Leon Haslam took a strong second in both races with Haslam leading the point standings followed by Biaggi. Honda's Jonathan Ray and Yamaha's Cal Crutchlow also scored a third place podium apiece at Portimao, though each rider also nabbed a DNF as well. The Superbike Series takes a one week break before round three at Valencia. The AMA Pro Road Racing Series was also in action, running round two at the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California. Ducati's Larry Pegram and Yoshimura Suzuki's Tommy Hayden each took a win in the American Superbike class. The Daytona Sport Bike Series saw M4 Suzuki's Martin Cardenas and Graves Yamaha rider Josh Heron split wins. Read more on the AMA Fontana round, including the results for the Supersport doubleheader, by visiting the AMA Pro Road Racing page on Motorcycle USA. Well, that's all for now. Keep checking back with us for the latest motorcycle news, and we'll see you soon.